Okay, Mark Natale here for HopkinsSports.com with your official women's lacrosse schedule announcement for the 2016 season here with head coach Janine Tucker. And uh, Coach Tucker, how did things in the fall go for you this year? Oh, well, we loved our fall season. We were able to learn a lot. I think the team developed a lot of chemistry together. We played some outstanding competition, and we're looking to build off of a lot of the things that we started in the fall in our preseason coming up in January. Lost three seniors last year, but it was a very young team and, and a lot of returners this year. So talk to me about the experience that's coming back this year. Well, there's a lot of excitement surrounding the experience that's coming back. The three seniors we lost were significant, and they certainly are leaving a great legacy. However, our returners, um, we, we had a lot of kids that experienced a lot of playing time, and we're going to look to those kids to make sure that they're hitting the ground running come, come the middle of February when we start our games. Yeah, and you mentioned the middle of February starting off the schedule. We'll be opening up on February 13th against Marquette yeah. here at Homewood Field. Yeah. Uh, just talk about the early portion of the season. It'll be Marquette, American, and Rutgers to open things up. Yes, well, we're always going to kind of hit the ground running um, with the first part of our season, and I feel very lucky that we have our first couple of games at home so we can kind of get our feet under us. Um, every one of those teams will come at us with guns blazing. You know, it's one of those things where we have to be on point every game and that's something that being an independent team not having a conference affiliation this year is very important and significant to us so uh, we know that Marquette American and Rutgers will come after us um, and we're going to make sure that we're ready for it. You mentioned the non-affiliation this year but there are certainly a lot of Big Ten yeah. schools lined up for this schedule this year and after the uh, American and Rutgers games you turn around and play Loyola, Penn State and Ohio State. Two out of the three of those are going to be Big Ten rivals next year. So we'll have three Big Ten games um, already under our belt, which is, is going to be significant, and that was certainly by design. We wanted to make sure that we could get some of those teams on our schedule in 2016 in preparation for 2017, but these are also teams that we're familiar with. You know, we were in the American Lacrosse Conference with Penn State and Ohio State, Northwestern, so we're excited to kind of make this transition, but honestly, 2016 is about our independent schedule, and that's what we're going to be focused on. Nice, and you mentioned some of those rivalries that you had in league past. Mm -hmm. Talk about the rivalry just up the street with Loyola and uh, turning around and having to play Penn State who knocked us out of the tournament last year. Absolutely. Well, as you know, Coach Tara and I are both Greyhounds, so we do have a soft spot in our heart for Loyola, but it is always an awesome game. I literally think it's within a couple of goals every time we play each other. Um, our girls are very familiar with the Loyola girls. They're all friends. Um, but come game day, we get after it and may the best team win. Um, but it's always a spirited rivalry and a spirited game and we have the utmost respect for the Loyola coaching staff and that program. Um, and then certainly turning around and, and playing Penn State. Uh, this is a team that, that we lost to in the first round of the NCAAs. This is a team that again we have tremendous respect for. They always come out very active athletic, very fast, very skilled, and well coached. Um, so needless to say, we're going to have to be on our toes from, from minute one of the 2016 season. You wrap up the home schedule for that portion of the year against Boston University and Hofstra on March 11th and the 13th. Talk about those two games for me. Well, again, uh, B both BU and Hofstra are teams who are well coached. They'll come in very prepared. Um, I think that they've got a lot of returners. Both teams have a lot of returners. So they're going to be ready to go, you know, and I think that they are both coming off of solid seasons last year. Um, so we're, we're going to have to make sure that with BU and with Hofstra, we're prepared for very up-tempo games, very physical games. Both of those schools like to play a very physical style. And we're going to have to make sure that not only are we organized um, in our style of play with our scouting reports, we have to be very, very prepared, but we're going to need to execute. Uh, after that, it's a two-game road swing down to Vanderbilt and Georgetown. Talk about those two games, very fast-paced games last year. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Vandy games, Georgetown games, again, we always seem to have very exciting uh, schedules and seasons. I think that's part of why we, we try to tell our girls to be fun to watch because we play such awesome opponents. Um, our trip to Vanderbilt is always an awesome trip to Nashville. That's a great place to play, um, and we're always treated very well when we go down there. The hospitality is awesome, and then, as you know, with Kathy Sweezy and her team, Team, we'll have at it. It's always a great match between the Blue Jays and the Commodores and we don't expect anything less. Um, and then we'll come back and take a shorter trip over uh, down the road to Georgetown. Um, another rivalry. Uh, the girls know a lot of the players on that team and have again tremendous respect but uh, we will always um, you know try to give it our best uh, against every team we play. Uh, you turn back around and return to Homewood Field for a three game stretch after that. You'll take on Stanford, Furman and Towson all at home. 
Yeah, wow, this is gonna be an interesting spring. Um, we've got an awesome schedule ahead of us and I hope everybody really wraps their hands around that. We've added Stanford this year. Very excited to play a team from the West Coast. Again, um, we've some a team like Stanford is someone that at that point in the season, we're gonna really be finding out a lot about ourselves um, because they're gonna be very interested in getting a win on the East Coast and we're gonna need to make sure that we're doing the same. So I think it's one of those things where that home stretch will be thankful to be back at Homewood Field I know that we love playing at Homewood Field, and I think each of those teams between Stanford, Furman, and Towson are going to give us a little different look. All three of them are a little bit different style of play, but they're going to come at us, so we will have to be prepared. Uh, after that, you turn around and play arguably some of the two toughest road games on the schedule. You're taking on Maryland and Stony Brook right afterwards. And you mentioned trying to figure yourselves out against Stanford. At that point, you really need to be figured out. Oh, we need to be figured out. There's, there's no doubt. And again, a lot of that scheduling is by design. We really want to make sure that we are building and getting ourselves into a super good place as we go into the tail end of the season. Um, I think we're going to be battle tested at that time and it'll be a good thing coming against a Maryland and a Stony Brook. But I'll tell you, Mark, every game on our schedule is important and every team on our schedule is a tough team to beat. And what we have to instill in our players is um, you have to take one game at a time and everyone's coming after you. So you've got to make sure that you take care of every single game. Um, but leading up to Maryland and to Stony Brook, we're going to have to be definitely on point because both of them are very strong. They're going to be positioned well, probably nationally, and that could have ramifications for us for the postseason. Following those two matchups, you return back to Maryland for an in-state rivalry against UMBC and then turn around and go up against what was one of the most fun matchups last year to watch against Boston College. Yes, um, we're, we're very excited. You know, we certainly know that our neighbors down the road, whether it's Towson, UMBC, Georgetown, you know, down the road a little further, these are all schools, Maryland, um, that we appreciate the in-state rivalries um, and we respect them and we have a lot of respect for all of those opponents and coaching staffs. Um, and then to be able to kind of cap our season with a road trip to BC, beautiful place to play. My brother went to college there, loves it. Um, um, really enjoy Acacia, her staff, and her team. Um, I know Coach Tamek will be happy that he's not playing against his sister this year. Uh, thank the Lord. Covey did a great job for them. But again, at that point in the season, it's going to be very important for us to end strong so that we can have some momentum going into the end of the season. Again, hopefully, if we're blessed enough to see some postseason play. All right. Thanks so much for joining us, Coach Tucker. That's a wrap on your 2016 spring schedule for the women's lacrosse team. Be sure to tune into HopkinsSports.com for everything Blue Jays lacrosse for the rest of the year.